Hi, my name is Rebecca Seymour and I'm a violinist with the Queensland Symphony Orchestra. Okay, so this is a hard question. So when I'm practicing, it depends what I'm practicing for. So a lot of the time with the orchestra, we're practicing for whatever's coming up next. So I don't always have one particular composer that I would go to per se, but uh, if I had to choose one uh, that I always come back to, it would be either Bach or Mozart uh, for a few different reasons, but they're basic staples, I think, for um, my musical diet anyway, and they form a great base for everything else. That and scales. <laughs> yeah, Brahms and Mahler. Can't split them. Used to be just Brahms, but um, we've played a lot of Mahler here in the last few years, and I just, it's amazing. Love Mahler. <laughs> uh, so, this is my violin. Uh, it was made in Sydney, actually, by an Australian maker. Uh, well, he moved to Australia. He was born in, in England, moved out to Australia, Guy Aubrey Griffin. Um, and he, I think, almost all of his work through the Smith Workshop in Sydney. Um, so my violin was built in Sydney in 1934. Um, and a violin has two parts, as you can see. Um, but the violin part itself has the body. This part here is the body. Uh, this is the neck, scroll, uh, these bits sticking out the side are tuning pegs. Uh, then we have the bridge here, um, sound holes, uh, and inside the body of the violin, which you can't probably really see from this distance, there's a sound post um, which helps to produce the sound, I guess. Um, this is a tailpiece. Uh, and most violinists you'll see will wear one of these on the back. It's a shoulder rest, just helps, um, just helps us to hold onto the violin, I guess. And then the bow, which is just made up of the stick. And this part down here is called the nut or the frog and the tip. And in between, holding all the tension and making all the noise is uh, horsehair. Um, it's hard to say how, what would be the longest, but um, when I was thinking about this question, um, I remembered a day uh, when I was back in my university days and I'd had a fairly average practice week the week before, uh, which my teacher obviously had picked me up on um, and put me to task over a bit. So I got quite uh, angry about that. So I went home and the next day I practiced for eight hours straight. Yeah, <laughs> I've never done it since and I was, it was quite painful. <laughs> but I sat down and practiced for eight hours straight. I did learn the Bach Chacon that day, so it was worth it. My violin has a name. Uh, this is Sebastian. Love of my life. <laughs> it's been with me through Thick and thin, yeah. So when I bought him, I thought he deserved a name. <laughs> my, well, my classical music idol has always been Itzhak Perlman. So I think I would love to play with him, but probably if I ever had that chance, I'd be so starstruck, I wouldn't be able to play anyway. Um, Otherwise, I really love Yo-Yo Ma too, and a lot of his folk, Silk Road Ensemble type stuff, that would be great. Um, but I really just love to play with anybody who loves to play. I'll play with anybody who loves to play. We lived in Wales for a little while, and our local pub, every Monday night, had a bunch of musicians come in. It was like Galician music night. And there were a couple of fiddle players, and they had some Galician bagpipes, and. Um, I never got up the guts to play, but I so wanted to play with them because they probably weren't the greatest players in the world, but they were just having such a good time. Yeah, twinkle variations. I'm a child of the Suzuki method. So I started playing when I was very, very young. And the very first piece you learn to play is the twinkle, twinkle variations. So it's based on twinkle, twinkle, little thumb. But um, you just, uh, it's just different rhythmic variations on the same notes. Um, so yeah, that's, um, that's what I learned to play. Ooh, superpower. 
My son, who's almost five, if he was here, he would say, oh, mum, tell them you can fly, because he really is into dragons at the moment. So uh, maybe let's say that I could fly. <laughs> Favourite food? Yeah, anything bad for me. Chocolate, ice cream. My husband makes really amazing food, so he makes great Indian from scratch and yeah. Anything I don't have to cook. How about that? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> this is a really solidly bad admission. Um, so we just started some new series actually a couple of nights ago. One was the in-betweeners. Uh, and then actually I'm gonna dob in another orchestra member here, Charlotte who's in the viola section, she told me <laughs> I should watch this show called Love is Blind. <laughs> so I started it last night and it's terrible now I'm hooked. <laughs>